and fear Allah. Verily, Allah is severe in punishment. And He, sallallahu alaihi subhanahu wa taala, also says in Surah An-Nisa, chapter four, verse eighty: "May yuti al Rasul, faqad ata' Allah, wa man tawalla, fama arsalna ka alayhim hafiza." He who obeys the Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, has indeed obeyed Allah. But he who turns away, then we have, we have not sent you, O Muhammad, as a watcher over them. And he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, further stressed that man ata'ani faqad ata' Allah. Whoever obeys me, he obeys Allah. Waman asani faqad asa Allah. And whoever disobeys me, he disobeys Allah. Waman ata'a amiri faqad ata'ani. And whoever obeys the ruler I appoint, he obeys me. Waman asaya amiri faqad asani. Waman asa amiri faqad asani. And whoever disobeys him, okay, he disobeys me. This is collected by Al Bukhari. Uh, an authentic narration by, uh, collected by Al-Bukhari. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also stressed that كُلُّ أُمَّتِي يَدْخُلُونَ الْجَنَّةِ إِلَّا مَنْ أَبَى All of my followers will enter Al-Jannah except those who refuse. قَالُوا يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَمَنْ يَأْبَى They said, O oh Allah's Messenger, who will refuse? قَالَ مَنْ أَطَاعَنِي دَخَلَ الْجَنَّةِ وَمَنْ عَصَانِي فَقَدْ أَبَى He said, Whoever obeys me will enter Al-Jannah. And whoever disobeys me is the one who refuses to enter it. We ask you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to make us of those who obey the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And therefore from those whose your reward, whose, or, or your reward will be for us to enter Al-Jannah by your leave. All matters discussing worship of Allah, discipline, orders, advice, and recommendations as detailed by the Prophet ﷺ are collectively known as his sunnah. The sunnah is an inspiration from Allah and is not the Prophet's idea, thought, or desire. For he, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described him, وَمَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَىٰ Nor does he, Muhammad ﷺ, speak of his own desire, it is only an inspiration that is inspired. Chapter 53, verse 3 and 4. So in believing or in obeying the Prophet وسلم, authentic sunnah, we are obeying Allah. There should be no resistance to the way of the Prophet He must be taken as a judge in all disputes, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly commands, فَلَا وَرَبِّكَ لا يؤمنون حتى يحكموك فيما شجر بينهم. But no, by your Lord, by your Lord Allah, they can have no complete faith until they make you a Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم judge in all disputes between them and find in themselves no resistance. ثم لا يجد في أنفسهم حرجا مما قضيت ويسلم تسليما. Then find in themselves no resistance against your decisions and accept them fully with submission. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah An-Nur, chapter 24, verse 63, فَلْيَحْضَرِ الَّذِينَ يُخَالِفُونَ عَنْ أَمْرِهِ أَنْ تُصِيبَهُمْ فِتْنَةٌ أَوْ يُصِيبَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ And let those who oppose the messenger's commandment, meaning his sunnah, his legal ways, his orders, his acts of worship, his statements from amongst the sects, beware, lest some fitna, and fitna here could mean sealing on the heart, calamities, you know, all sorts of misfortunes, shirk, etc. Lest some fitna befall them, or a painful torment be inflicted upon them. The Prophet ﷺ himself said, مَنْ عَمِلَ عَمَلًا لَيْسَ عَلَيْهِ أَمْرُنَا فَهُوَ رَدْ In the hadith reported by Muslim and Al-Bukhari, he who does not an act, who does an act rather, which our matter, meaning our religion, is not in agreement with, will have it rejected will have it rejected. The sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is surely safeguarded as Allah promised to save the message of Islam from any human corruption. The following of the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is the manifestation of the declaration of At-Tawheed. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah which is the second part of the Shahada. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِ يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهَ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ Say, O Muhammad, to all mankind, if you really love Allah, then follow me, 
That is what I was trusted with, which is the Quran and the authentic Sunnah. Allah then will love you and forgive you your sin. And Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. So in short, the declaration that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah is an integral part of the Shahada and that Muhammad وسلم, must be trusted in all that he informed, about, informed us about Islam. He وسلم, must be obeyed in all that he had ordered and we must stay away from all that he forbade. The obedience to Rasulullah وسلم, is an obedience to Allah and that he وسلم, has left us with all that leads to Al-Jannah and he warned us from all that leads to the fire of hell. This really constitutes, therefore, the second part of the declaration La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah This is Muhammadun Rasulullah And what does it really mean and what does it really entail? I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who benefit from the understanding of La ilaha illallah In creed, in belief, in the heart as well as in the actions on the limbs and on the tongue وصلى الله على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وجزاكم الله خيرا for listening and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of you